One of us has to be a son. Everybody was talking about him. Everybody was talking about uh, 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 King Uzziah. Everybody was blessed by him. One of us has to be a son. Bible says he had a host of fast, uh, fighting men most innovative military at that time on the planet Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Praise God To help him the king against the enemy not forgetting much uh, he had a lot of cattle both in the low country and in the plain by dressers in the mountain Because he loved husbandry. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. My interpretation or my Bible says he loved the soil. We will learn something on that. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. During Uzziah leadership, people had peace from every corner of that country. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati Uzziah aliongoza miaka 52 alikuwa popular alijulikana sana alifanya kila mtu hakuna mtu angeenda anatafuta anahisi nja kuna mfalme mahali Samaria mtu akamkujia na akasema mfalme tunakufa wewe kama mfalme unaweza kufanya nini ye kama mfalme alizungumza akasema kama Mungu aliyewaumba wezi wasaidia sembuse mimi mimi nitatoa pi msaada lakini kuna mtu hapa Uzaya anapotawala kwa miaka hamsini na mbili. Bibi nasema kwamba hakuna yeyote alihisi njaa. Hakuna yeyote alikuwa na uoga kwa sababu ya kushambuliwa. Bibi nasema aliweza kujitengenezea jeshi. Endo na usome yote vizuri. Na jeshi hili lilimsaidia kupiga maadui na akawafukuza. Alipofukuza maadui wote alijenga majumba na akaweza kufanya mji ukaweza kuwa mji mzuri sana. Na watu wakawa wanabarikiwa kutokana na uongozi wa Uzaya. Watu wangeweza kutembea na amani, haungewahi kusikia mahali kuna ukabila eh, mapigano ya ukabila, ungewahi sikia mahali sijui kuna upungufu, sijui tupeleke mahali fulani misaada. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Ningependa ni wafunze kitu moja kabla tuende. Niko tu katika hali ya utambulizi but I will not take much. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Uzaya ali alipokuwa amefanya watu wako na amani kila mtu alizungumza kuhusu Uzaya. Kila mtu. Watu wa ule mji na watu ambao walikuwa nje ya mji mpaka hapa Egypt walikuwa watu walikuwa wanazungumza kuhusu Uzaya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na hiyo watu kumzungumzia sana ilianza kufungua ukurasa mwingine ambao ningependa sisi kama kanisa tuweze kujifunza kitu cha kwanza wewe kama muumini usikafikie kiwango cha watu kukusifu na ukawa unaweza fika kifindi fulani ujipige kifua useme na bila mimi ibada iweze kuwa mzuri mimi hamwezi fanyika kitu fulani bila yani haifai ufie kiwango cha kama mkristo cha kufika mahali useme bila mimi ujione bila mimi bila mimi number one. number two, kama mkristo ujiadhari kabisa usiwe mtu ambaye watu wataweza kukusifu wakakuinua kila mahali bwana yesu asifiwe sana Usifanyie kitu ambacho bila wewe hatuwezi tukasonga number one. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Number two, usifanyike mtu ambao utalimbikiziwa sifa ambayo inaweza ikachukua hata nafasi ya Mungu. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We need to be careful always see God not man. It is in perfection people seek God perfection. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni wakati ambapo mwanadamu anajihisi amepungukiwa 
Niposa anakuja jinsi umekuja pasa tego kutafuta ukamilifu wa Mungu. Lakini pindi wakati una jinsi umekamilika basi umemfukuza Mungu numeweza kuchukua nafasi ya Mungu. Ama umebadilisha nafasi hiyo ya Mungu umebadilisha na kitu tofauti. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. When a, a nation is mighty in everything, people tend to forsake God and replace men. They will cross the line. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wakati Uzaya alikuwa anatawala Yerusalemu na Juda kukawa kwa miaka zote hamsini na mbili kila kitu kiko sawa watu walianza kumuona Uzaya wakaanza kumsahau Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana watu walianza kuona Uzaya hakuna malipopote watu waliweza kuinuka sasa wakaanza kumuona Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe mali tumesoma Eh, 26 verse 5 Bibi nasema alipoendelea kumtafuta Mungu Mungu alimpanua Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana lakini ukiendelea ufike 15 alipokuwa strong wakati akili imemwambia uko strong hauwezi kushambuliwa kila mahali nikitembea ni jina lako Bibi nasema kwamba hapo alijisi ni yeye ha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Mungu nilikuwa anajifunza hivi. Mungu alibariki Uzaya katika kila kitu. Lakini ukisoma sura nzima ya Uzaya, hakuna popote utasikia alimrudishia Mungu ushukurani. Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na nikawa ninajifunza hivi. Kushukuru ni kufanya nini? Tumepunguza neno Thanksgiving. Wakati Uh, unaenda kwa mtu kwa ndugu Jared unamwambia nataka unipatie elfu moja alafu unamwambia nataka unisaidie na elfu moja kwa sababu nitakurudishia alafu anabeba elfu moja na kupatia wewe hata hiyo ya kusema tu asanti unasema tu ya mdomo kwa nini kuna kitu kimetangulia hiyo na hii kitu ni kwa sababu gani hata si nimemwambia nitamrudishia unaona si nimemwambia nitamrudishia kwa hivyo hata hiyo shukrani toki ndani ya moyo sasa unasema tu sita hata si nilimrudishia hata siku nyingine nikienda si huwa narudisha. Watu tume, tumepunguza kitu shukrani na tumeiweka imekoso muhimu. Lakini kitu shukrani imefanya wengi wameanguka, imefanya wengi wamevunjika. Ukisoma sura nzima hii ya maneno ya Uzaya, sisi wote tunapenda uh, uh, ufanisi. Lakini hakuna mahali utasikia alimshukuru Mungu umekutana tu na mahali kwamba alipoendelea kumtafuta Mungu sura ya tano. Mungu alimpanua Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini ukiendelea alipompanua akamwenemesha hakuna mahali alifungua kinywa na akasema niko jinsi nilivyo kwa sababu Mungu umenifanya ah ah Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Praise Jesus Bwana Yesu asifiwe God blessed Hosea in everything but he forgot one thing Thanking God and he focused on achievement. He began to be proud of his success as if it was by his power. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alifia kiwango cha kuona ufanisi wake na akakataa kumuona Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Greatness and the famous without God opens door to sorrowful finish. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ninamaanisha hivi. Wewe kuwa mkuu na kuwa mtu wa kifahari, mtu wa kutambulika na ukose kumchua Mungu inafungua ukurasa wa kumaliza katika kushindwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Pride of the heart was at the bottom of his heart Hosea a last that ruins many of us Christians Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Praise Jesus Sisi wakati tunainuka na kiburi wewe unajua unainuka na kiburi 
Na niliposa ni afadhali ukue na rafiki mwenye anakuambia we uko vizuri. Lakini kuna mahali rekebisha tu kidogo. We kama unahitaji kuwa unisijite mtu mfulani ni rafiki, kuwa na mtu ambaye anaweza kukosoa kwambie ticha vile unavyoendelea uko vizuri lakini mahali fulani rekebisha. Hivyo ni vizuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu kiburi kinatangulia kuanguka kwako. Kiburi kinapoinuka hauwezi ukachua ni kiburi. Lakini mwishowe kimemfukuza Mungu katika maisha yako. Mwanzo utakuwa utakuwa ulikuwa mzuri lakini mwisho utakuwa ni mwili. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. You try to change to to be uh, uh, he try to change good to be evil. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana and the evil to look like is good bwana yesu asifiwe sana the way you convince the world and you be firm in the things pertaining flesh does not apply in the things of god he already said he loved the soil bwana yesu asifiwe sana alisema anapenda ukulima na anasema anapenda kufuga bwana yesu asifiwe sana Alipenda vitu ambavyo ni vya kupanda. Alipenda vitu ambavyo ni vya ulimwengu huu na akakosa nafasi kwa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Mahali hapo tumesoma ukirudi uh, 22 21 then 22 King Ozaya was a leper until the day of his death. He dwelt in an isolated house because he was a leper for he was cut off from the house of the Lord then Jotham his son was over over the king's house charging the people of the land now the rest of the act of Hosea was first to the last the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos wrote Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise Jesus Ozaya did not survive or manage the pressure of the of prosperity. Now, the figurative vision of prophet Isaiah because you cannot really go deep into life of Ozaya until you open the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Let's open Ozaya Isaiah chapter 6 as from verse 1 to 8. Bible says in the year that King Ozaya died I saw I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple verse 2 Bible says above it stood seraphim each one had six wings With the two he covered his face with the two he covered his feet and with the two he flew and one cried to another and he said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory and the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out and the house was filled with smoke so i said this is isaiah who who is me for i am undone here because i am a man of unclean lips and i dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips for my eyes have seen the king the lord of hosts then one of the seraphim flew to me having in his hand a live coal which he had taken with the tongue tongs from the altar and he touched my mouth with it and he said behold this has touched your lips Your iniquity is taken away and you are seen purged. And I also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send 
mimi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana nataka usikize kwa makini sana i saw the lord <laughs> this is the sentiment i saw the prophet said i saw the lord at the death of Uzziah i saw the lord unaweza kuuliza apostle mtu mwenye anazungumza i saw the lord kumaanisha kabla kifo alikuwa akiona nini haleluya kabla Uzziah kufe Isaya alikuwa akifanya kuona nini haleluya ni nini hii ambayo ilikuwa imesimama mbele yake asija akamuona Mungu na hata tu baada ya kifo cha Uzziah niposa anamuona Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Nataka nikwambie hivi. Wakati Uzziah alikufa, mtu aliyechukua mahali pake ni mwana anaitwa Jotham. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na Jotham alipoongoza watu walijihisi kama throne is empty. He. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Nataka nikufunze hili neno. Na nataka kusikiza vizuri sana na likusaidia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na limenisaidia pia na mimi mahali. Wakati Uzai alikufa, Biblia inasema aliyechukua nafasi yake ni Jotham his son. Na alipochukua uongozi wake akaanza kutawala, watu walianza kuwa na uoga. Watu walianza kujihisi tumekuwa na kiongozi na kiongozi huyu alikuwa kitawala tumekuwa tukiisi amani tumekuwa tuna amani tumekuwa hatuna mashambulizi lakini ambaye amechukua hatuisi uwepo wake ni kana kwamba kiti kiko bure haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise jesus now the figurative vision of prophet isaiah that is by the death of king ozaya i saw the lord sitting on a throne comes when jotham son of ozaya began to reign on on the seat of his father and uh, therefore people began to compare between two this uh, uh, rulership bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe wakaanza kulinganisha kati ya baba na mwana nani alikuwa na nguvu basi kiti hakina mtu bwana yesu asifiwe sana Praise God and they realized that Jordan was weak to depend on they began to panic to an extent they saw the throne was empty what will we do as nation of Judah and Jerusalem Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wakaanza kujiuliza sisi kama Judah sisi kama Jerusalem tutafanya nini ili tujikwamue katika nafasi hii Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana it is now the moment the temple is thrown open to view Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hapa ndipo temple of King uh, Solomon was drawn to view. Ha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sitaki niende peke yangu. Kuna mtu anasikiza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mtu anapokea ujumbe. Hapa ndipo sasa wakati tunasoma Second Chronicles chapter 26 verse 22, Biblia inasema na mambo yote ya historia hauwezi kupata katika hicho kitabu ni Isaya aliyeandika na ndiposa Isaya sasa ndiye anaweza toa siri kile ambacho Kuroni kijakwambia Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na Biblia inasema hapa ndipo kwa nini Isaya anaona kwa kifo cha Uzaya na sasa nilimuona Mungu na nikauliza alifanya kuona nini nataka nikwambie alifanya kuona enzi ama throne ambayo ilikuwa ya uzaya peke yake bwana yesu asifiwe sana na niliposa mungu sasa anamfungua macho anampeleka na anafungua kanisa anafungua ekalu tempo aweze kuona kuna kiti zaidi ya kila alikuwa akiona ha. haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe sana haleluya it is now moment the temple is drawn open to view between the kingdom of the earth and the god inspire people to look at between the throne that you been looking depending on and uh, the throne of God you see the difference bwana yesu asifiwe sana na niposa isaya alipelekwa aweze kushuhudia na niposa anasema i saw the lord by the death of king ozaya hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe sana 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The prophet standing outside the temple seeing the divine presence seated on the mercy seat raised over the ark of the covenant between the cherubim and the seraphim and the divine glory filled the whole temple. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. This is what Isaiah was taken to see. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Isaiah saw Christ glory and the spokes of him in Christ Jesus God is seated on a throne of grace and through him the way into the holies is laid open. Ha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha nisienda ra kwacha turudi hapo. Above it is to the seraphim. Seraphim it is holy angels. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Each one had six wings with the two he uncovered his face. Ha. Acha tu kwa sababu ya muda na niende pia haraka na Mungu akusaidie. Mimi nasema hawa walikuwa wamefunika uso na vile vile miguu. Kwa nini walifunika? Haleluya. Yaani moja inaangalia kwa ingine. Ha. Wacha niendelee kidogo hapo mbele. And they one cried to another and they said, "Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of the glory." Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ile ambayo ilikuwa imefunikwa ni ile ambayo kingozaya angeweza kufunulia watu wa Mungu waweze kuingia ndani waweze kuona kuna ufalme na kuna kiti zaidi hiki changu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na kile ambacho kilikuwa awaonyeshe kilikuwa bado kimefunikwa lakini ile ingine na ingine ni wewe ambaye unapeana mkono kwangu ni ufalme wa mbingu wa wanadamu ni ile hali ambayo unajikuta ndani wewe kama mwanadamu uko na ufalme ambaye inakutawala lakini ufalme inafanyoosha mkono itiishe ufalme mwingine ambaye inakuja Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na niposa kuna akida anasema hauhitaji kuingia katika nyumba yangu mimi ni mtu ambaye pia niko chini ya mamlaka niko under a some throne Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana lakini nina heshima yako na yako hitaji ukuje physically you can just ata our speaker word Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Huyo ni mtu ambaye na Mungu Biblia nasema sijawahi kuona imani kama hii katika Yerusalemu. Kwa nini? Nimewahi kuona viongozi na watu kama Onsaya waliopata nafasi kama hii wakajichukulia yote wakosa kupeana nafasi kwa Mungu. Lakini nimeona mtu ambaye anapeana ka nafasi kwa mamlaka nyingine, anapeana mkono. Ha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko pamoja. Tunabarikiwa. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. His church on earth filled with his glory, his train, the skirts of his robe filled the temple, for it is all God's it is it is all God's temple. And yet he dwells in every con- contrite heart above the throne stood the holy angel called the seraphim which means banner bwana yesu asifiwe sana hao wanafanya nini wanafanya kuabudu wanaabudu mtakatifu wakiabudu wakisujudu usiku na mchana bwana yesu asifiwe sana and the bible says they stood the holy angel called the seraphim which means banner doing worship seraphim showing their faces veiled Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. We need to see God in everything. This awful vision of King uh, uh, prophet Isaiah of the divine majesty overwhelmed the prophet with a sense of his vileness. He said, I am undone. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. I am undone. Kumbuka, no ina joni ndani sana si wengi wanashika hii but God will help you. Uh, alisema I am undone. Kwa nini alisema undone? Prophet hakuwa katika kanisa. Prophet alikuwa aone, asikize na apeleke. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hakuwa priest. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na niposa ukisoma Uzaya, Uzaya he did one biggest mistake. Aliweza kuchukua eh, 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 akaingia hekaluni akitaka kufukiza uvumba. Kazi ambayo si ya wafalme, ni kazi ambayo 
inafanyika na makuhani na alipoingia alipigwa na ukoma ukoma ikiwa ni picha ya ya zambi bwana yesu asifiwe sana alipigwa na ukoma kwa sababu amepita mipaka bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe na bibi nasema kwamba aizaya alipokaa nje aliweza kuona alipoona akaona kila kitu ambacho kimetendeka moja imefunikwa miguu nimefunikwa hata uso isionekane na hii moja ikasongeza post kumwelekea nitakufunza kitu hapa bwana yesu asifiwe sana moja ikasongeza post post inamaanisha kuna ufalme mwingine ambao huku letu hapo haikutambuliwa kwa kwako haikufanya non kwako sasa ilisongeza mipaka ikakukujia ha bwana yesu asifiwe ikakukujia na ikachukua kala moto ikachoma kinywa cha prophet bwana yesu asifiwe ilipochoma inamaanisha hivi it was a moment of cleansing bwana yesu asifiwe sana ilikuwa na moment of cleansing ni mungu ni ufalme mwingine ambaye ilisongeza mipaka ikakukujia ili kufanyie nini ikuletee kile ambacho ufalme mwingine hikuwai na ndiposa huyu mtu anasema ha i saw the lord Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Can we read Romans chapter 1:19 and 20? Something there before I proceed. Romans chapter 1 verse 19 and verse 20. Hallelujah. I just worship you God. I bless you Jesus. Hallelujah. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God has showed it unto them 20 for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and the godhead so that they are without they are without put kufupi bina sema hivi Abu Songa 21 before ni same kitu hapo 21 Bible says because that when they knew God they glorified him not as God neither were thankful but became vain in their imagination and their foolish heart was darkened Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kutoka uumbaji mpaka saa hii Mungu ameweka wazi wanadamu wamjue jinsi alivyo kutoka tu uumbaji kwa ufupi bibi nasema hivyo lakini alipojaribu kujitokeza hata yeye uungu wake wote uungu wa Mungu hajajitokeza kwa kuzaliwa kwa Yesu peke yake amewahi kuonyesha wanadamu Israeli Mungu ni mmoja na mwabudu yeye peke yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana lakini watu walipingana Mungu hajaonyesha saa hii si tumeona kwa maandiko bibi nasema kwamba lakini hawakumwabudu ipasavyo kumwabudu kwa sababu gani walipofushwa walipofushwa wakafanya ugumu mioyo zao wasiweze hata kuelewa chochote bwana yesu asifiwe praise god bwana yesu asifiwe this awful vision of the divine majesty overwhelmed the prophet with a sense of his vileness he said i am undone Why did Isaiah say I am undone? Ha, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa tempted niulize, kwa nini akauliza? Si mimi si mkamilifu, kumbe nimeona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni jambo ambalo apostle yule aliyekuwa amesimama kwa hiyo nafasi hapo awali alikosa kufunua. Isaiah hakuwahi kujiona jinsi alivyo mtu ambayo ni mwenye zambi, mtu ambayo ni mnyonge mtu ambaye hastahili hata ingia tu ekaluni hivyo hivyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na sasa anasema I'm undone Peter Luke chapter 5 verse 8 Bibi nasema when Simon Peter saw it he fell down at Jesus knees saying depart from me for I am a sinful man O Lord I'm undone hiyo ndio inamaanisha yani Peter amefanya ametumia hekima ametumia ujuzi ametumia chochote na hajapata hata mmoja na hii ni maisha tu ya ulimwengu na Yesu ndiye alikuwa amesababisha tu hivi 
hata kama unajua kuamka mapema nataka nikwambie ni mimi ndio nafanya ngo upate sasa anafika mahali Yesu anamwambia akafunza na akamwambia chukua nyavu rudisha kwa mali aliposhika mpaka neti zinavunjika alipoona huu muujiza alijiweka hivi mimi ni ani alijiona sasa kumbe huwa sijijui haleluya kumbe huwa sijijui na akasujudu miguni pa Yesu akasema to, ni toka mbele yangu mimi ni mwenye dhambi bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kila unachosikia drone drone does not only provide security food and everything but also it points the weakness of people and also provide solution hey bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kila ambacho unasikia drone drone inafaa ionyeshe pastor Tiego umeungukia na uko mnyonge na kisha jinsi utakavyotoka katika unyonge upate kusimama na ufanye kazi ya Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana hiyo ndio ufalme basi Uzaya hakupata Uzaya alionyesha watu mambo mazuri peke yake akawapatia security na everything lakini uongozi wake bila sema kwa miaka msina mbili ilikosekana kitu kuna kuja na mtu hapa anaitwa Isaya anasema wakati huyu mtu ambaye alikuwa kizuizi singeo nilikuwa naona tu mwisho ni ufalme wake sasa imenifunua nimeona ufalme mwingine akasema i'm done i'm undone mimi ni mtu ambayo bado nimepungukiwa niko na unyonge na niko na uchafu bible says uh, the, uh, 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 then the live call may donate the assurance given to the prophet of pardon and acceptance in his work through the atonement of Christ you need deep kidog bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe irudi juu kidog he said i am undone we are undone if there is not a mediator between us and the holy one bwana yesu asifiwe was god the live call Bwana sema kwamba then one of the seraphim flew to me having in his hand a live coal which he had taken with the tongue from the altar Seraphim aikuchukua <laughs> nilikuwa napenda hii nikawa hata analia akuchukua makaa ambayo ni yeye yake mwenyewe alichukua kwa altar akakimbia nayo akachoma akaweka kwa mdomo akafanya sanctifying na bibi anasema kwamba this is a sign of pardon the acceptance in his work through the atonement of Christ nothing is powerful to at least and comfort the soul but what is taken from Christ the blood say the blood bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe praise god kila ambacho seraphim alisongeza mipaka na akatufikia sisi wanadamu akikuwa chake kilikuwa kimetolewa kwa altar the blood which is able to pardon our sins and the pardon our sins and the forgive us and they call us back to Christ bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe say hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe the taking away sin necessarily to our speaking with confidence and the comfort either to god by prayer or from god in preaching sisi tukawa tunaweza tunaweza kuwa ni watu ambao ni wa ujasiri kuzungumza chochote ambacho ni cha hiyo throne lazima awe yeye alifanya kitu bwana yesu asifiwe sana na alichofanya kinakupa ujasiri wa kusimama na kwenda kutangaza kutangaza injili na sio kutangaza pekee na kuwa na ujasiri hata wa kuomba kumbe noanda kuomba ni ngumu sana kwa sababu gani wewe haujakuwa haujanunuliwa haujakuwa hujatolewa katika ulimwengu ukuje uchome na kala moto uoshwe ndio maana kumbe hatuna confidence <laughs> bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa nini isaya alikuwa pewe confidence na ndiye atabiri yeye ndiye alitabiri mambo ya yesu kwa nini haingefanyika hivyo kabla atakaswe na aonyeshwe kuna hiyo kiti ambacho naona ni empty sio empty unimekalia mimi Mungu nimekalia wanadamu wamewadanganya muone viti ambavyo viko empty vita viko empty nimekalia 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kile ambacho ninaenda kutangaza ni kile umeona. I saw the Lord. Angetangaza kitu ajaona. I saw the Lord at the death of King Uzziah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. I am undone is a state you see yourself insufficient. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Wacha nimalize kwa kusema hivi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Throne does not give pleasures only to the people but also point at weakness of people and they calling them to repentance and to the same provide solution. And throne is to cry to one which is to come is to point to one which is to come. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Throne ambayo ilikuwa ya Uzaya ilikosa tu hiyo ilikuwa ni throne ambayo ilifanya watu kuwa na sare watu kuwa na amani na ikafunga milango kuzuia ile ingine ambayo inafaa ikuje bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god now isaiah say i saw the lord mtu ambaye amefikia mahali amemuona mungu ni mtu tofauti. Ni mtu ambaye atatangaza yale ameona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Si kile tu amesikia, ni kile ameona na ameona kwa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. John chapter 12 verse 38 or 41. I mean. Kino kipata nafasi jisomee sura nzima. Ha. John chapter 12 verse 41. Let me begin us from 40. Jesus said to her Did I not say to you that if you would believe you will see the glory of God? Siku sema hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Then they took away the stone from the place where they dead. No, this is not. He said, blinded. Their eyes are hardened. Their hearts lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts and they turn so that I should heal them. Put one. These things Isaiah said when he was, he saw the glory and they spoke of him. Hallelujah. These things, which things? Many was blinded in the tenure of King Isaiah. They were hardened They could not believe, they could not perceive. They could not believe that we have God. We have another throne. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. These things Isaiah said when he saw his glory and spoke of him. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na hiyo ndio ilikuwa picha. Ungeonekana unapinga Ozaya. Sana. Kila mtu angemusifu na kila mtu angesema yeye ndio mzuri na yeye ndio mwema. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na akachukua nafasi ya Mungu. Kwa kiwango ambacho anataka kuingia hekaluni na afanye kitu ambacho afanye kitu ambacho roho ndio anafaa afanye si mwili. Yeye akiwa mwili anataka afanye kitu ambacho roho anafaa afanye. Mkristo kanisani unaweza ingia vile umeingia utoke umebarikiwa ama utoke umejifunga mwenyewe bwana yesu asifiwe sana sisi tunaishi katika mwili na ndiposa tunaambia mungu kila wakati atusaidie ijapokuwa huyu mwili nabeba hekalu lake ni hekalu lake na nabeba nafsi na nafsi ambayo mungu anakaa ndani atusaidie uweke mwili kando Mwili ni ikiwemo elimu, ndoa, watoto wako wazuri hawa, mke wako huyo mzuri, kazi yako hiyo nzuri, majirani ambao ni wazuri, uwaweke kando. Na ufanye kile ambacho ni roho anafaa afaidike. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Ufanye kitu ambacho roho ndiye anafaa faidike. Ukapatikana unafanya kitu ambacho kinainua mwili, utatoka na ukoma. Bila sema Ausaya au Yuzaya vile unaweza ita alikufa kwa ukoma. Hiyo ni sura ama ni picha alikufwa kwa kuasi roho mtakatifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Madhabahu yamepeanwa tuone utukufu katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. Je, utaonaje jinsi alivyo unapokuwa umeingia katika hekalu la Mungu? Ukiungani ndani ya mwili, haiwezekani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni uombe Mungu akusaidie uingie katika kiroho, uambie Mungu wewe enzi yako kitu ni kimoja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bila sema kwamba walifunika uso na alichoona na pia wamefunika miguu isionekane. Leo hii ilionekana nilifunuliwa wazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na ndiposa nashukuru Isaya. Isaya aliona Yesu kabla Yesu mwenyewe kuja katika mtu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Alimuona jinsi alivyo na akasema I saw the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na nilipokutana na nikamuona Mungu nikilinganisha kati ya uongozi na utawala ambao uliwahi kunitawala nikalinganisha na huo niliona kumbe kiti kina moto Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na kiti kilinifaidi kwamba nilijiona mimi ni mwanadamu niko na midomo michafu one na pia ninakaa katikati ya watu wasio kujua Bwana Yesu asifiwe ufalme faida ya kiti kile ambacho tunaenda kwacho kina kufunua Unaona madhabahu uliozaliwa ndani jinsi aliyo machafu na jinsi gani unaweza kutoka ndani ni kala moto likuchome kaa hilo litakalokutakasha ni damu ya Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe ningepata nafasi nitaendelea Mungu akipenda lakini ningependa tusimame na unaposimama tafakari neno la Mungu Wewe ni mtu wa midomo michafu. Mingi imefunguliwa kutoka zamani. Mungu ametamani watu wamujue. Na tumujue alivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kazi huwa tunaomba. Kazi inakuja. Tunapata hata mshahara mzuri inatufuatia. Hiyo inainua hata mwili. Unasoma, unasoma mpaka unainua masomo. Hata uone kitu ambacho kinazidi hiyo. Nataka nikwambie kuna kiti na hicho kiti ambaye amekaa ni Mungu. I saw the Lord. Inafaa ni maombi umbi langu. Mkristo ufikie kiwango cha kusema nimemuona Bwana. Sijaona kazi, sijaona elimu, sijaona yeyote, sijaona magari, nimemuona Bwana. Inua mikono zetu juu. Haleluya. Tunapoinua mikono zetu juu, omba jinsi Mungu atakusaidia. Ambia Mungu kitu. Wewe ni mtu mchafu. Kuna vitu vimewahi nuliwa. Kuna mtu amewahi onekana kuwa mzuri mbele yako. Amewahi kuwa mzuri mpaka kakuzuia ukakosa kuona Mungu. Kuna kitu kimewahi kufanyikia vizuri. Kuna mtu amewahi simama na wewe mpaka ukaanza kuona huyo mtu ukakosa kuona Mungu. Kuna mtu aliwahi kukulipia deni mpaka ukitafakari Unakosa kuona Mungu unaona huyo mtu 